Rogue Stinger Hive detected. Nobody's pulling out. The fight goes on. De Friendly claiming the supply drop. Stinger Hive detected. What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 build video. Today's video is going to be my favorite pestilence build for PvP. You can utilize this build in PvE if you would like, but we're going to mainly focus on the PvP section. So, this build is perfect for sustained damage. If you play or you like playing DZ or Conflict, this is going to be perfect for you. The way you're going to play with this build is quite simple. You want to uh, play it very defensively because we cannot use shields and shields are very prominent in the game right now so because you can't use a shield with the pestilence or any lmg you would have to stay back and wait till you see the enemies and tick them over with the big pestilence damage that we will be getting we can get them for over you know in pve over a million damage a tick in pvp upwards of 260,000, which will kill a player in seconds now this build's really really powerful in conflict because a lot of times players are using skills and like you saw from the gameplay People will be using tier 6 hives. If you throw a tier 6 hive down or a, a, a turret, anything like that, you're going to die. Because all I have to do is shoot it down and the pestilence stack will transfer to you and you go bye-bye. So it's very, very fun. I love playing with this. 9 times out of 10, when you finish a match, even if you don't come first in conflict, you will have the most damage. Upwards of 70 million. That's what I normally get, between 40 and 70 million. So it's very, very good for sustained damage. So that's how I'd like to play it. Stay back, let your teammates push. If someone pulls a big bulwark shield or any kind of skill, 
you can take it down and then once it goes down the whole team the whole team can can die from one tank guy tanking all of your pestilence shots and the interesting thing is in conflict if you guys were unaware you know when players spawn and they are immune it still counts towards hits so you still get hit marker hit markers and it will actually stack the pestilence while they are immune which is really a bit cheesy but it's very powerful in the dark zone as well you can give your teammates such big support damage and i really enjoy this build let's get straight into it so specialization we're going to be using technician it's up to you what you want to use i use it because i like to have uh, artificer high for my shield or maybe you could have some sort of uh, healing element but the you know the real reason for it is to give my shield uh, extra skill tier now it doesn't really matter you can use whatever you want to be honest guys gunner specialization would be good for an lmg build it's completely up to you for this one so we have got lmg damage like i said before gunner is very good for lmgs because you get extra magazine obviously the pestilence you cannot modify it you get a banshee pulse you get extra weapon handling uh, and you also get armor on kill so you can use gunner or technician it's completely up to you so Let's take a look at the build. So what I've got is a three-piece striker, which is the best. It's just the best for a pestilence build. Why? Because we get rate of fire and weapon handling. Weapon handling is accuracy, stability, reload speed, and swap speed. The accuracy is what makes it so good. Because LMGs have a very like rectangular reticle, so the smaller it is, the easier it is to hit headshots or to beam people from ranges. So the three-piece striker is going to be probably the cornerstone of the build it's very important because the faster we fire the quicker we can get the pestilence ticks on the players and what we have here is 1.1 million armor normally as you guys have seen in the past i like to use big damage but i find this to have the right balance because we also have 60 percent crit chance armor damage and vigilance for that big damage with tardigrade chest piece which will give our teammates quite a chunky section of armor back which is to be honest it helps your team so much not only will you be dishing out all the sustained damage from range but you will also be giving yourself and your teammates you know vital piece of armor whenever they die and because it's 1.1 million armor we're still hitting hard but we can still give them a decent chunk so let's have a look at the build now in depth so the pestilence you guys know how this works i'm not going to go through it we do have damage to armor six percent which is nice because it stacks with the contractor's gloves which we have right here contractor's gloves is must best in slot for an lmg build of this caliber so make sure you do utilize this more damage to armor with crit chance and weapon damage with a juicy lmg damage you can use a two-piece petrov but what i've gone for is cheska because we get extra crit uh, you know 10 percent crit chance doesn't help doesn't hurt and vigilance is a must-have because we don't want to be face trading players we want to be peeking ticking them off uh, peeking again putting some more bullets in back into cover you want to play this very cleverly you cannot just face trade someone with a shield assault rifle build because you will lose so it's very very important uh modifying now what we want to do is use crit chance modifiers or modifications and you know it, just make sure your crit chance is 60 percent then the three-piece striker very important with that juicy uh, rate of fire 15 percent which is nice the weapon handling is also great for reloading the lmg so crit chance and critical hit damage is going to be on everything obviously except the chest piece but this is going to be great 80 percent your armor but have a look at this guys it's not actually 80 percent what i'm going to do is we're going to put on pvp statistics this will give us an indication how much it is so it's actually 40 percent of your armor so cooldown per ally is 45 seconds very very nice right so the three-piece striker i've got red two blues there and then three reds so you could have as many reds as you want as many blues but if you wanted to go for all out damage you could take away the target grade and just go for have something like unbreakable with more critical hit damage or something like that it's completely up to you holster we have got armor crit chance backpack as you saw crit damage crit chance crit chance on the gloves and then knee pads weapon damage and critical hit chance so the base weapon damage for this build is actually almost 100k we can dish out huge amounts of damage with this you'll be amazed like i said it's all about that sustained damage i've also got the invisible hand this is a great weapon because we get an extra 12 percent rate of fire and it's very very powerful especially if you can hit your headshots because it's multiplicative off of the headshots so this is really good considering that we don't have a lot of you know spec into a lot of critical hit damage but the headshots will count because obviously we can hit all that rate of fire and hit more bullets on the npcs or, or the agent's head should i say pistol very important because we're going to be using the bulwark shield 
as you saw in some of the clips, I think, you know, if someone pushes you, you're in trouble because this build, you don't want to be pushed. So you want to tick them off before they can actually get to you or put the pestilence on them, then, you know, wait it out. That's why I've got the technician specialization. This will give us two skill tiers, which is very, very nice. We've actually got tier two, which is great. Our shield is tankier. And we also dish out quite a decent amount of damage with this within sync. You use the shield and then you get that extra 15%. That's 30% weapon damage, which is a must. Uh, so yeah, modifying, some people ask me why I have so many bullets in my magazine. It's 20 round extended mag. Try and farm this from control points. It's very important. This is one of the best magazines in the game. If you guys don't have it by now, you need to get it. So I've rolled damage tiles out of cover and perfect Allegro. Very, very nice. So yeah, that's the build guys. Pretty simple. Defender drone is very strong right now. If you don't know in PvP, it really helps because, you know, if players are going to be shooting us, at least the Defender Drum can mitigate some of the damage, which is very, very nice. The modifications I've put on it are going to be health, duration, and armor repair, which does not do anything. I just literally don't have any kind of mods. Try and put skill health or duration is okay. I guess it depends what kind of modifications you have. Shield, what you want to go for is active regeneration and shield health. Uh, the damage modifiers don't work. It's only for the... Uh, fire specialization one so just remember that guys right statistics we have got crit chance 60 69 crit damage which is doesn't seem that impressive but here's the thing it's not just about uh, the ticks it's also about when we hit them so we will still be dishing out a decent amount of damage that's why we have got 60 percent critical hit chance and 14 percent armor damage so the tick will do, do a lot of damage with vigilance as well but because we actually will be hitting hard initially it does make a difference so you can pause the video if you would like to see any of the other statistics. Uh, like I always say, my builds are templates for you guys to work upon. You know, look at the build video and say to yourself, well, you know, I, I kind of think I'd rather not go for crit chance and go for headshot damage if you can hit your headshots. Or maybe you want to go full tank. That's, that's a possibility as well. But I think this is the right balance. It works for me. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoy this build or if you've tried it. And with that being said, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing everybody very soon in the next video. Peace out, guys.